Hello everyone, this is Alexis Brooks with Quest and a welcome to PeopleSoft Game Changers. Today's session is Cut the Risk with Proven Repeatable Testing and Balancing of Two Payrolls, presented by Greg Rowell from Dataville. A few housekeeping tips before we get started. All attendee lines are in mute and will stay in mute throughout this session. If you have any questions, please put them in the question drop-down box located in your GoTo webinar panel. We will answer them at the end of the session. The session is being recorded and will be uploaded to the Quest Content Library. At this time, I'm going to pass it over to Greg, who will kick things off. Thank you, Alexis. Welcome, everyone. I'm going to go ahead and get started to uh, be respectful of everybody's time that's joined today. Again, my name is Greg Rowell, and we're going to talk today about, uh, as Alexis mentioned, a proven, repeatable PeopleSoft payroll testing and balancing tool. And when we say proven, we'll see in a few minutes how long this product and solution have been on the market and servicing clients for a number of years. And it is a, it's a repeatable. We'll talk about how it integrates with PeopleSoft and how a number of our clients have embedded it into their process around testing PeopleSoft payrolls. So again, my name is Greg Rowell. I've been working with PeopleSoft for a number of years. I realized when I looked at this picture that uh, that was the day of my oldest son's wedding, and he's now has four children. So if you were to meet me in person, I might look a little older than that. But I am from the South, as you can probably tell by my accent. I live in Atlanta area, and I'm coming to you today from our office, the Dataville office in the northern suburbs of, of Atlanta. So as I mentioned, I've been working with this with PeopleSoft Solutions for quite a while. I go to work every day. Uh, representing data veil and the, the services we provide to the marketplace, IT consulting services, system implementation services, and support, managed service support from day one of an implementation. Or if you've already implemented and you just need support going forward, that's something our firm has offered for quite a while and we're, we're really, really good at it. And we actually use Paymatch to support our clients that we we have in our managed service portfolio. I am 100% and we are 100% focused on Oracle solutions. And as uh, Alexis mentioned, we'll have a Q&A period at the end, but a quick, just a very quick overview of, of Dataveil, just two quick slides, because I know we need to get to the, the meat of the matter and try to help you solve some issues around keeping pay, PeopleSoft payrolls balanced and, and audited. So real quickly, DataVail, we're uh, more than 13 years old. In fact, the acquisition of uh, a firm called SkyBridge that has been in business a number of years is part of our por portfolio. Um, so DataVail is over a thousand employees. We operate in the US, Canada, India, and we've added uh, this year an office in Colombia. Um, just in 2022, actually, we added that office. So for DataVail, we focus on three major areas, database operations. Um, as, as a matter of fact, we have over 400 DBAs on staff as employees of DataVail. So we focus on database operations, managed services around databases, analytics, everything around data, analytics, visualization, all the tools that are out there in the marketplace. And as I mentioned, as far as ERP, we're 100% Oracle focused. We do Oracle EBS, PeopleSoft. We have implemented one of the largest Oracle cloud suites of product in the country uh, over the last year and a half, a very big implementation, and the other uh, Oracle products like Hyperion and EPM. We do have Microsoft um, in our portfolio, and we can help as part of DataVail to migrate workloads to the cloud. So even if you don't go to the Oracle Cloud solution, we can help you migrate your current on-premise solution to the cloud, be it AWS, Oracle, or Microsoft Azure. So that's DataVail in a nutshell. Well, let's talk about Paymatch. So uh, Paymatch really has uh, two different solutions. I'm going to focus most on Paymatch, but there is also Paymatch Pro. And I'll just mention here that Paymatch Pro works on the product I just mentioned, which is the Oracle Cloud product. 
but we're going to focus today on pay match. But if you do have uh, uh, an in initiative to move to Oracle Cloud, we have a solution that works in that environment too. But being today, we're focused on PeopleSoft. I will talk a lot more about that. So this product, um, really the value of this product is to automate the testing and balancing of payrolls. We'll talk in some detail in a, in a bit about the categories that we test as a standard part of PayMatch. But one thing about PayMatch, it works across industry. We're going to talk about a healthcare client in a little bit that pays uh, in all 50 U.S. states and have used PayMatch for over 10 years to, to help them. Pr prior to the POM update process, they used it for tax updates. But when the POM process was initiated, they transi transitioned to that and used PayMatch to, uh, to automate the testing of that solution as well. We'll also, we also have a, a, a customer that is the largest uh, package shipping company basically in the world, and they use PayMatch in conjunction with their PeopleSoft payroll in order to validate payroll and specifically some of the ta uh, excuse me, time and labor transactions that come in to the PeopleSoft payroll solution. So the point being, um, it is a cross-industry product. So just some of the facts, uh, one mention of uh, PayMatch and PayMatch Pro, both are Oracle Corporation validated integrations. And we'll talk a little bit more about that in a minute and what that means to you as the, as the user of, of this solution. Um, here we are, PayMatch has been a proven repeatable process since 1998. So that's when the product originally came out. Uh, PayMatch Pro came out in 2018, but you can see PayMatch has been in the marketplace for quite a while. 45 plus customers. I, I looked the other day, it's probably around the 70 to 75 clients have used PayMatch over uh, the duration of the, from the implement or the deployment of it in 2018 as a solution. So it is heavily used by clients out there. Now, granted, some of them have moved on to different solutions, but over time, around 75 customers have used PayMatch, and obviously we have a, a lot that are currently using it, and we'll talk uh, more about that. So the, the tool is, has a short install time because it is a PeopleSoft application designer project. So we see that it only takes four to five hours to, to install. And that's because it is coupled as a project within the app designer uh, portion of the PeopleSoft solution. And again, an Oracle validated solution as well. PayMatch Pro being the cloud takes a little bit longer to install. And as I mentioned, PayMatch um, runs within the customer's PeopleSoft environment. And in a little bit, we'll see a flowchart that kind of shows where it fits into the process of the payroll process in, uh, in PeopleSoft. So it is an app designer design tool. So for the rest of the presentation, we'll focus on PayMatch. So I mentioned it is an Oracle validated integration. Um, we had to go as a company through the rigors of Oracle to get this validation for both products, PayMatch and PayMatch Pro. So what that means to you is that it is has been a tested solution by Oracle. Um, we have to, every time there's a POM release, we update it. And we'll talk a little bit about the life cycle of the product here in a little bit. We're currently on release 8.1, but it is an Oracle validated integration. So what does, um, the heading says payroll auditing and validation just got easier. Well, in actuality, it's been easier for a lot of our clients for a long time that have been using this solution. But if you were to deploy it, it helps you to examine, investigate payrolls, do verification. I'm sure we all deal with audits. We all deal with change management of uh within our organizations. We'll talk about the use cases of PayMatch in just a little bit, um, and proofing of payrolls. 
and analytical problem solving. What we want to do is to capture and display to you the issue, if there is an issue in the payroll, be it time, labor, deduction, uh, benefit code, so that you, as a payroll professional, can do the, the heavy lifting as the analytical part of it. Why did that happen? Why are, are, do we have one check more in one payroll than we do in another that should be the same? So we'll present those to you and help you kickstart the analytics problem solving to get you to the point where you can validate the payroll. So I say it just got easier. It's been easier for a lot of clients. We're on currently on release 8.1. And over the lifespan of the product, we have integrated a lot of enhancements to the product, a lot of them coming from our, our customers. And an example of that is uh, three or four years ago, our, well, it's actually a little more than that, our clients wanted to be able to validate checks. They wanted a check total accumulator to show if there was a more checks in one payroll run than the other. They also wanted, our clients wanted, easier mapping to other payroll components that may be in different systems or things in PeopleSoft that they wanted to validate as well. So we put the effort forth to make that mapping a lot easier. Now, when I say mapping, all of the PeopleSoft existing components are mapped into Paymatch. That's already done for you. That's part of the solution but oftentimes clients want to compare other uh, you know, entries in other systems or other parts of PeopleSoft and Paymatch allows you to do that. So we have enhanced the, the system over time, launched in 1998, but right now we're at release 8.1. So where should you use Paymatch? What are some of the examples and areas where you, that you can use? It is very versatile. Um, I mentioned uh, the package company earlier, spoke with them a couple of weeks ago. They use the product deeply with time and labor. They want to validate that the time and labor that's coming into the system is the same in the test payroll run as it is in the production run. So that's, that's one. Another is new implementations. This doesn't happen as often, but it could be that you're converting a new company that you've acquired into PeopleSoft and you need to validate that. Um, so you could actually compare another payroll if you map the data into Paymatch to the existing PeopleSoft payroll that, that uh, accommodates the new company that you've acquired. Um, conversion, if you were to move to another payroll system, it helps you to, to look at that. And probably the biggest use of it, the largest uh, use is for the update manager for PeopleSoft Update Manager. So the scenario would be that you have a long existing PeopleSoft system and a POM update is introduced. You can apply the POM update. Actually, you could run a payroll before the POM update, apply the POM update, run the payroll again with the POM and tax updates that are applied and compare the two. Uh, and and, to, and let allow actually allow Paymatch to compare the two and provide reports for you. So pay cycle reconciliation is another item. Period over period audits. So um, say prior to benefits open enrollment, we want to run a process and then do the open enrollment and see the differences there. We can test all the way down to and isolate specific benefit deductions in payroll so that you can uh, validate those. Um, testing of a new payroll process. We had a customer last year that had never had an hourly payroll before and they added that due to an acquisition and Paymatch helped them to, to test that uh, process. And unfortunately, we do deal with uh, fraud in some cases. So if there was a check introduced that you weren't aware of, that Paymatch would flag that for you. Um, and then anytime there's a change between baseline and the updated payroll. So you are in your uh, year in review of uh, um, salary review period, you apply the salary adjustments and you validate with 
pay match that they were applied correctly. And even job and personnel changes that may change the, the payroll amount for an employee. So there, our, our customers actually have gotten very creative with this solution. Um, and so they've come up with different scenarios as, as well within, uh, within their environment. So as you can see, there are a lot of use cases, different places that you can um, use Paymatch. So we've mentioned these, but a couple I want to focus on are the reasonable, reasonable test. So in a minute, we'll talk about how Paymatch can be run after uh, following a test payroll. And then before you go to commit the payroll, you can say, does this look reasonable? Is this what we expected from the payroll uh, gross to net calculation? And of course, Palm updates. This is again where most of our clients use it. We'll see uh, that you could drive a lot of the testing hours out of the Palm update process by using this solution. And that's where, um, and we have clients you can talk to. And that's where when I go out and work with our customers that use this, that is probably the most common. And now that the Palm updates include the tax updates, then you can you uh, you can test those via the the palm update process. Now, one thing I wanted to mention that it is backward compatible as well. If you're running an older version of PeopleSoft, uh, that the the solution is backward compatible, and we'll be glad to to share that that information. What all supported with you uh, in a conversation. So those are some of the most popular use cases. With the number one really being uh, over the last four or five years, the Palm Update process. So where does Paymatch fit into the process? So as we mentioned, it is a, um, a solution that is developed within PeopleSoft, easy to install. So what the, the process would be is many of you are probably long-term PeopleSoft payroll users and are running the system. And in my experience, being around PeopleSoft for a long time, there are still a lot of customers that are gonna stay on this solution for quite a while. They have invested a lot in it and they're just looking for a uh, proven methodology to keep the system running as, as smoothly as possible and that's what Paymatch is all about. So what would happen is you have uh, Paymatch installed, you run the ca Calculate Pay, and as we all know within PeopleSoft Payroll, the the final step before going to producing the the uh, advices and checks is the confirm payroll. But before you compare uh, confirm payroll, you can run a calculation, and you can compare that calculation to the confirm to the payroll confirm to to uh, identify any issues that are there before you confirm. So you can run a test payroll, make some adjustments, apply a pump run the payroll again before you confirm, look at Paymatch, and we'll get into some of the, uh, the ways the data is displayed to you in just a few minutes. But you can do that as part of the process. So our clients have embedded this into their process to identify issues before they get too far down the process. So we'll talk more about where, where, what the results are here in just a minute. But a lot of our clients in the current state without Paymatch, um, you know, payroll professionals have to run queries or do some type of Excel ex extract or call an IT resource to run a, a, a report um, and do or do manual limited spot checking. But what we designed this solution to do is to move that from this current state to the point where you run Paymatch as a client and it displays to you any of the issues. So as I mentioned earlier, pay payroll professionals are problem solvers, but the first step to solving the problem is identifying the issue and that's what Paymatch is really all about. So this is kind of a busy screen. These are, this is the main menu for Paymatch. Um, as you would see it if it were installed in your environment. Um, so there, as I mentioned, um, 
the mapping, and this is very important, the mapping is already done. If you were to install uh, PayMatch, it would map all of your deductions and uh, pay elements already to the PayMatch solution. Only time you would use the mapping is if you had other compare IDs you wanted. Now, you also see below that, and this is where kind of the rubber meets the road, pay, review PayMatch trends. Now, this is one of the most important and critical parts of PayMatch in that uh, you see this list here. It says results by earnings, results by check mismatch. And then it's, it has one more and then 17 more. And I just, for, for the sake of an example, I pulled up the, the documentation online documentation that comes with PayMatch. And these are just some of the other pay trends that are available to you uh, out of the box. So pay trends by earnings amount and earnings hours, pay trends by taxes, pay trends by deductions, and then we even break it out to general deductions or benefit deductions, pay trends by special accumulators, pay trends by arrears, pay trends by pay distributions, by account code, by for Canada, as I mentioned, this is a North American solution. So Can Canadian payroll has um, some special pay trends that also can be an analyzed. So there is a lot to this, uh, this portion of the solution that already comes out of the box where you can immediately start comparing um, elements. Then there are a number of reports that are part of the system. You can obviously design more. Um, and then we give you this process in the middle of the, in the top column or the middle column at the top, the process pay match. So when do you compare? That's all under your control. And then with the, the pay trends here as well, there's 11 other categories than the ones listed that you would see on the main menu. Uh, earnings, check totals, um, again, we added the check uh, number of checks. That was one that was the client requested that we added to the system, I believe, in the release seven. And then other features missing, or if there happened to be a zero net pay check, that would be flagged for you. Um, deduction amounts, uh, time and labor data. There's a whole section on comparing time and labor. So if the labor hours are different for one payroll, to the other pay match would uh, flag that for you. And then there are other types of, of um, reviews that you can do within pay match. So as I mentioned, our clients have gotten very creative with it, but this is all out of the box, standard functionality that is documented. Um, and these trends are critical. So there's a lot uh, available to you through, through the system. And when you start looking at the reporting out of the process of pay match, you'll see these types of statuses. So if it says compared, compared without errors, not compared, if there was something in the new payroll that wasn't in the old payroll, that would be flagged for you. It's in the, and then the, the vice versa, old and not the new payroll. Obviously, unequal amounts. This is where we would show you that the taxation was different from one payroll to the next, or the deduction amount was uh, different from one to the next. So these are just some of the statuses that, again, are standard um, in, in the solution. I mentioned earlier that we have a large uh, healthcare company that has used the product for over 10 years. Um, and they pay in all 50 states. And their quote, and, and this is a client, uh, if you're interested, I'd love to have you speak with them. They're very uh, referenceable and they've, they are very creative with PayMatch over the years. Um, but it helped them to reduce the amount of testing around uh, a payroll val validation by 90%. They, in talking to them over the years, they've had uh, some jurisdictions, states, and such that have been really. Uh, painful. I remember one specific one was the Shenango Township of Pennsylvania, which seemed to change their taxation on a whim. And this 
particular firm was able to identify that and those tax changes will be flagged. And so it took a, a manual process and automated it. Um, as I mentioned, they're a large customer. They paid in all 50 states. And so you can imagine they had a lot of different uh, taxation things that uh, Paymax uh, helped them to identify and to, uh, to start solving uh, by using Paymatch. Again, this client, I'd love to have you uh, speak with them if you're interested. Um, just a quick technical piece. And one thing you'll note here um, that Paymatch, and we mentioned Paymatch and EBS adapter. We do have some clients that are running Oracle EBS payroll that have mapped and with, with the help of these adapters, EBS to the Paymatch solution. Uh, we actually have one client that runs both a PeopleSoft and an EBS payroll. They're looking to consolidate in the coming years, but they've used Paymatch for both environments to compare uh, payrolls. But this just gives you a little, uh, view of, of where it fits in. But the key thing is that, um, and you saw earlier, the short install time of Paymatch, four to five hours. That's because it is a, a tool. It is within the PeopleSoft app development environment. So it's very easy to install. It's native. You know, it's uh, proven by Oracle. So um, we would be glad to get, uh, have a deeper discussion of the technology if you would like but just think of it and we use this term a lot and you as a customer probably do as a bolt-on uh, to PeopleSoft. So some of the technical hi highlights um, we mapped to the data so that's already done. Um, I, I can't, can't overemphasize the fact that it is an app designer project so easy to install we mentioned backward compatible and also North America. I did want to, we do have a number of clients in Canada that use the, the solution. So it is for North America, which includes Paymatch for the US and for Canada. And we're showing another uh, section of the menu. Again, to see this uh, solution and talk to customers is, is uh, is something we'd love to do. We have a demo environment that we can do a live demo for you and show you and talk through it. We have a dedicated support team. We actually have support here in the US and the leader of the support is one of the original designers of the system back in 1998. So we are really uh, proud of this solution. It's, it's proven the test of time. It's been out there. As I mentioned, up, upwards of 70 customers have used it, and a number are currently using it, probably in the 40 to 45, as we mentioned, current customers um, all across industry. It's pretty uh, easy to prove an ROI on this solution if you look at the amount of testing that it would save you, um, especially for a bigger shop with large payrolls or complicated payrolls. It is backward compatible, so we have clients that are running older versions of, of PeopleSoft that still use the solution. So um, in interest of time, one last thing, we do have a, a data sheet. We also have, uh, obviously, the um, ability to demonstrate this for you, and we have a number of, uh, of referenceable clients that are out in the marketplace and we'd love to connect you with, with one of them if you're interested in going further. Um, Alexis will uh, provide my contact information at the end of the presentation. If you're interested in continuing the conversation, I'd be glad to do it, put you in contact with our, our practice that uh, manages this solution and supports our customers, and we'd love to, to do a demo of the solution for you if, you're, if you have a further interest. So with that, um, Alexis, I would like to turn it over to uh, a Q&A, um, see if anybody has any questions that are 
burning right now and if not we can uh, you can obviously get those through the uh, chat um, and I'd be very happy to entertain any questions that uh, that you might have certainly thank you Greg it's been very insightful um, at this time I don't see any questions but if anyone wants to please make sure to put them in there and we'll get them answered here live on the call Oh, we did have one just come in and said, is this compatible with global payroll? It is, uh, it is not. We, uh, we tried to do that, uh, but it just, the complexity of global payroll was just, it was just something we were not able to do. Just to be honest and upfront, we just, it is not compatible with global payroll. Anybody else? Other questions? Um, let's see, we've got a couple more. Can you also compare all accumulators year to date, et cetera? Absolutely, yes. Uh, probably should have mentioned that. I'm actually looking at the documentation now. And that's another thing, I'd be glad to send you um, the product documentation in a PDF form if that's something you would want to go through because it would, it does highlight all of the features and functions of the system, but absolutely, yes, you can compare accumulators. Okay, we have another member asking if you could show the actual compare reports. Uh, I, I am not prepared to do that, but I, if you'll get your name and I, um, I can send them to you, obviously. Um, and let me look at the doc. I've got the documentation right here. I think they're included in the documentation, at least a sample of them. But I'd be glad to send those to you, um, whoever's asking. And uh, I've been doing this a long time. I won't pester you <laughs> with multiple calls. I'll let's answer your question, and you can determine if uh, if you want to go discuss it further. But if you're willing to give Alexis your uh, contact information, I can send you that that uh, directly from my email. Perfect, they did share their email, so I will get that to you, Greg. Okay. And again, I won't, uh, I know you're, I, I talk to customers every day and they get bombarded. Um, you know, we're real proud of the solution. It is proven. Uh, so this isn't a hyper sale, but uh, again, I will respect your uh, um, your time and won't uh, call you every other day, so. But I'll get you the information and you can decide if you want to continue the conversation. Anybody else? We do have um, one other individual who's asked, can you compare tax rates or is that manual? No, you can compare tax rates from one payroll to the next. Absolutely. Um, and, and when you see the compare reports, uh, again, that's a great point. I should have included at least a sample report to give you a look because there's there's detail on each individual employee that you can drill down to and the uh, the macro level for a different company within your organization um, so there there are multiple levels of, of reports available anyone else doesn't look like we have any other questions at this time. Oh, let's see. Yep, we don't at this time. So do you do you have any? Oh, we have one more that's just come in. Say, uh, does the reports explain top reasons for the difference in payroll? Say a big bonus or large numbers of new hires. Uh, new hires was the question. New. Um, they're asking if the reports explain top reasons for the difference differences in payroll, say big bonus or large numbers of new hires. Uh, the report would just flag the difference. It wouldn't. Uh, I'm trying to see how we can answer that. That's a good question. It doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't spit out trends. In other words, it wouldn't say. Uh, well, I guess in a in a way it would say you have more checks in this payroll than you had in the prior one. 
Um, and again, some employees could receive multiple checks, but it, it would flag that. But again, if you're willing to look through the reports, um, you know, it, kind of, it, it does isolate some of those uh, components to say there are more checks in this run than there were in the last. Uh, there were there are more. You could even compare it to a payroll you ran um, last month at this time. So you could compare the let's say the biweekly payroll from uh, March to the same period in April, the biweekly payroll, just as an example. So you you have a lot of flexibility there on what you're comparing. But if the question is, does it uh, have like an AI component that would say, oh, it looks like you added a lot of employees. It wouldn't actually point that out other than showing you the differences. There are 50 more checks in this run than there were back when you ran this payroll the prior period. Okay. And it looks like we have an additional question. Um, how does the trend reports compare with the delivered Cabana payroll vis visualizations? The delivered pay, uh, payroll reports within PeopleSoft? Let's see, can you read that again? I'm sorry, Alexis. Sure, not a problem. How does the trend reports compare with the delivered Cabana payroll vis visualizations? Hmm. I don't. I don't have an answer for that. Let me let me talk to. Let me take that as an action item to. I, I just know really the components of pay match. I can't. I, in my mind, I can't picture those payroll reports. But let me let me do some research again if you're willing to give your email address to Alexa, I'll get back with you. Okay. Okay, we have another question that's come in. Can you compare month to month rather than individual payrolls since some of the some of the deductions earnings could be calculated differently, whether it is monthly or per period. Yes, absolutely. That is a delivered, I'm looking again back at the documentation just to make sure where it is, but yeah, that that is a standard component of pay match. And that's actually on page 115 of the user documentation. Anybody else with a question? I really appreciate everybody's participation today. And uh, I know it takes time out of your, your day to do this, but uh, we really appreciate it. Okay, it looks like we don't have any other questions at this time. Are there any closing thoughts that you wanted to share, Greg? Uh, just to say, uh, again, we're very proud of this. is a, It's proven over time as a, a solution that have helped our, ha, has helped our customers. And our customers are very sharp, and I'm sure this audience is as well, and different ways they can use it. Um, and we oftentimes take um, suggestions from the client base, as we did with the check counts, to incorporate them back into the solution. So we have a large user base um, and they are, you know, they often uh, have requests, but this this solution is, is proven. It's probably one of the best things uh, to mention about it. And it is Oracle certified. So we appreciate your interest. Uh, be glad to get um, a phone call together if you want to get into more detail or talk to one of our customers. Um, or talk to our support team, the uh, original designer of the application. So um, again, Datavel appreciates your attendance and we appreciate the, uh, the opportunity to continue the conversation and we'll honor your time and, and uh, won't uh, uh, pester you, but we do want to get uh, continue to evangelize about this solution since it's been uh, proven over time. So thank you. 
audience. Thank you, Alexis. We appreciate uh, the time today and I hope the rest of your conference goes well and uh, maybe we'll see you on a, a future presentation. Thanks again. And thank you all for joining us. Just a reminder that this session will be available on the Quest site to our Quest members. And if you enjoyed today's content, uh, please make sure to join us at Blueprint 4D, May 8th through the 11th at the Hilton Anatole in Dallas, Texas. Registration is open and we look forward to seeing you in Dallas. So have a good day, everyone.